Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas Stephen and I'm a PhD student based at Queen's University Belfast. My research looks into photonics or lasers for, a application, for, for use in applications such as data storage. So today I'm going to give a brief outline of an experiment that you can all try at home to which will demonstrate how the Tyndall effect works. So the Tyndall effect is named after scientist John Tyndall goes partly to the way the way to explain why the sky is blue. So light, so white light is comprised of several different parts, which when it bounces off or interacts with particles, it will split into many different colors. And these colors will, will have different behaviors. So blue lights will behave differently to red light when it bounces off. So for this experiment, you get, um, I have two glasses here, one with water, um, the same, but with a teaspoon of milk added into it. I also here have a torch, which is a white light torch to show. And I have a screen to show what happens when it travels through the glass. So for this, I'm going to need to uh, darken the room. So I'll be go and get that set up and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here I have a gl the glass of water. So if I shine the torch into the glass, we can see here that the beam of light just travels straight through the glass. And on the screen over here, we can see that it lights up quite nicely um, in a straight line with the torch. And then if I take the torch further back, you can see like how, it trans like how the light transpires straight through. So what happens now if I put particles like from, from a source such as milk into the glass? Well, we see that a very different effect is going to take place. So the first thing I notice straight away is that the light is being trapped in the glass here, and you can see by this nice glow. Um, we can also see on the screen here that um, none of the light is passing through and hitting the screen like it did with water. So if I pull this back, you can also now hopefully start to see if it's the glow correctly. Yes, there we go. A nice blue shining color. So. Yeah, so that shows how the light behaves differently in the solutions. So you can try this experiment uh, with all different types of concentrations of milk to see how different concentrations affect it or other substances that apart from milk that could be used to put in to see how it behaves. So um, yeah, I, I hope this experiment uh, gives you an introduction to the Tyndall effect uh, and I hope you enjoyed watching. So um, thank you for your attention.